Caitlin E and welcome to the lit review. Today you are seeing me in a whole different location and don't get used to it. This is not a permanent location though. I actually kind of like this as a setup. So maybe I will film out here more often. We're actually coming to you for today from my living room, but today we're out here because we are doing the, do you know your shelf challenge? I was tagged last week by Kehlani from Kehlani Simply Me to do this challenge. Uh, so I will link her original video down below. It's a lot of fun uh, and I'll explain the rules in just a second. But I also want to give a shout out to the original creator of this tag, uh, Jashana, who you should definitely go check out her channel down below. I checked out her original tag and I'm now like such a fan, subscribed instantly. Go check her out. I will link both of those wonderful content creators down for you below. Uh, and it seems like everybody who has deviated off from Jashana's original tag has done something a little different to keep uh, to keep themselves a little extra invested or interested. Uh, so I am following Jashana's original rules and adding my own twist. But let me get into that and tell you what the actual rules are so that you can do this tag too, if you'd like, um, and follow, you know, follow the original rules with perhaps your own spice of variation. Uh, so Jeremy is going to be helping me out today. He is off off to the side, off camera, and he has already picked 10 books from the various shelves within our house, uh, including these back here, the ones that you're used to seeing in my regular filming setup, and the ones in our bedroom. So between those 10 books, I am going to have to give a lot of information with just hearing the title. So I'm going to have to tell him which bookcase it's in, which like shelf unit it's in, and then I'm going to have to take a stab at like where precisely that book is on my bookshelf. So for example, if uh, he gives me a title and I say, oh, it's three from the left, it had darn well better be three from the left or else I'm in trouble. Uh, so the goal of this whole thing is to get low scoring numbers. So you get points for the things that you get wrong. So if I guess the wrong bookcase, I would have three points. If I guess the wrong shelf unit within that bookcase, I get two points. And if I guess the wrong placement, I get one point per book that I am off. So if I were to guess again, three from the left, and it turns out it's seven from the left, that's four points right there. Uh, so the name of the game is just to get a low score. And I am so not confident in my ability to guess where the books are on my shelves. So I brought this. I brought this. I'm going to just take some sips every time I'm wrong. I'm going to be wrong a lot. Uh, and that's okay. That's fine. I am not ever going to be one of those really amazing people who have beautifully organized shelves. All of my shelves are uh, organized by genre and you can see some of them have like just got some plopped in on the top. Uh, because some genres overflow, you know, it happens. Um, and some other folks, Kehlani included, have done like little challenges or kind of punishments if they don't get a certain uh, s score in, in mind. And I'm already deep in the throes of a reading slump, so I am not going to punish myself uh, for failing at a challenge I know I'm going to fail at. That seems really mean. Uh, I don't want to be mean to myself. So what I'm going to do is for every 10 points that I get, I'm going to add one of the books that I didn't quite know where it was to my priority shelf in my regular filming setup so that I can give it some TLC, give it some love in future months and hopefully read it sooner rather than later. So that's the name of the game. I know that was a heck of a lot of setup, but we're going to have some fun today and let's get into it. Okay. First book. The first book is Ship It. Okay, Ship It is by Britta Lundin. It is in this bookcase back here. Um, and it is the top row, fourth column. Oh God, and here's, here's, here's what's gonna get me. Um, I think it is, Oh, I moved it recently. Oh my God. I'm just going to guess, uh, it is on a top rung and it is fourth. One, two, three, four. So four kind of down, like stacked on top. Yeah. It is on that big shelf. Uh huh. It is on the first row in the fourth column. Uh huh. However, it is the second book over from the left. Damn it. Okay. So two points? I think so. Okay. Two. 
Are you keeping track of points? Any, okay. okay, book two. Book two is The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs. Okay, so that is in the back room on the tall, skinny bookcase. Um, and it is the center, so third either from top or bottom. Like, boop, 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 third, third unit. And it is um, second from the bottom on that stack. It is in the corner shelf in the back room. On the third shelf, second from the bottom. What? <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. No points. Oh, I'm feeling good. Okay, okay, okay. Third book. Third book is Kingdom of Ash. Kingdom of Ash. Um, I think that's, <laughs> I think that's back there. Uh, it's on our back bed bedroom bookcase. It would be in the fourth shelf. Uh, six in from the right. It is in the back bedroom bookshelf. On the fourth shelf, six in from the right. What? Shit. Oh my god, okay, so first of all, like my panic in the beginning was there is a series that I immediately thought of that was not the correct series, and I had to like have an internal panic of like, wait, no, Kingdom of Ashes is a Sarah J. Moss book. It is not Lady of Embers. It is not part of that series. Okay, okay, okay. Back. We're good, we're good. So, book four. Book four is Hellboy's World. Oh. Cool, cool. It's it's here. It's on this bookshelf. It is uh, the far left column. One, two, four down. It's on one of my graphic novel shelves, and it is kind of free sitting or free standing. It's that like there's two of them. There's like something about mutants, and then there's Hellboy's world, and then there's like a little dragon on top. Uh, and the Hellboy's World is the topmost one, so second, and then Dragon. It is on that big shelf. Uh huh. It is on the right when you're looking at it, but you pointed to the left, so we'll, we'll count that. Well, it's it's right from where you are. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we'll, we'll we'll count that. You clearly pointed there. It is, however, on the third row, not the fourth. Damn it! Okay. Uh, but it is two books up underneath the dragon. Hey! Okay, okay, so I got two, two points. Two points for not getting the correct uh, okay. exact okay. spot. I'm doing a lot better at this than I thought I was going to. So we'll we're see on... if that holds. Oh no, that's ominous. Okay. Alright, so we're on book five. Book five. William Shakespeare's Star Wars Trilogy. <laughs> this is actually a present that Jeremy got for me not too long ago, a couple Christmases ago, I believe. Um, okay, so it is back here. It is again that top row of the shelf that's like, I'm pointing to it because it's further up than the camera can currently see. Uh, and it should be in the third column. And it is in a little box set. And it is the rightmost book in that box set. So if you have one in from the right. It is on the big bookshelf. Uh huh. Top row, middle column. In a box set, one in from the right. Hey! There we go. I'm, do I'm doing pretty good at this. Okay. Either that or he was very nice to me. Both of these things can be true. All right. Book six. Book six is Season of Storms. Wait. <laughs> Season of Storms. Season of Storms. This isn't one of your books. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Don't need no peeking. Um, clearly, I don't know where this book is, so we're just gonna we're just gonna season of storms. Oh, okay. I maybe know what this could be. I think it's a C.L. Wilson book. His eyes give me no clues. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just shoot my shot and and take a shot if I'm wrong. So uh, I think we're in the bedroom bookcase, uh, 
sixth shelf. And I have no freaking clue which one in it is, so I'm gonna say three from the right. Right check. Okay. Your confusion on this actually has me concerned that I wrote something down wrong. I have this on your priority queue on your desk. Oh, shit. That's one of my newer books, so I don't have a good mm -hmm. mental map for it. Okay, frick. Okay, how, how wrong was I, Jeremy? So Season of Storms by Susanna Kearsley no. is actually on your priority queue on your desk in <laughs> your in your normal uh, normal set there. Uh, so it's just it's right there on the priority queue. No no real shelving to pick. It is ninth in from the left. So I believe you get three plus two plus nine points. Frick. Okay. Um. Cool. Cheers. At the end of this, I am gonna show you what I thought that was, and we're gonna see how comically wrong I was. <laughs> I was doing so good. <laughs> okay. Okay. I did not think that was going to be the one that stumped you. I, I thought that was the freebie on your priority queue. Oh, clearly not. Are we on book seven? We're on book number seven. Book seven. Okay. Book seven is Priory of the Orange Tree. Okay. I, I at least quasi know where that one is. It is in uh, the filming room in the tall column shelf. It is on the sixth. Wait. There are no, there's not a sixth shelf, so fifth, fifth, the bottom, bottom one. shelf. Uh, <laughs> and it is fourth in from, because it, it goes like this, it makes a cube. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four. From, if you're staring at the cube, from the left or from the right. Uh, I'm looking at it in my head. I'm looking down on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going f forth from the right. From the right, okay. Final answer? Sure. <laughs> it is in the corner bookshelf in your filming room. Okay. On the bottom shelf, the uh, fifth shelf. Uh -huh. You are correct, there is no sixth shelf. Woo. And it is fourth from the right. <gasps> yeah! I'm back, baby. Okay, book eight. Book eight. Whiskey in a teacup. Whiskey in a teacup? I'm so mad at myself for not knowing my own books. Whiskey in a teacup is such a cute name for a book that I don't know. Would you like the author? <laughs> yes, if you're willing to give me the author. The author is Reese Witherspoon. Oh! Okay, okay, thank you. That helps. Okay, that is a cookbook. <laughs> In my head, I was like, this sounds like a cute anthology. Oh, cute women's fiction anthology. But if it's by Reese Witherspoon, then it's a cookbook. Okay, it's back here. It's bottom bottom of the fifth shelf, so last last row, second column. Fourth in from the left. It is back there on the big bookshelf on the bottom or fifth row, second column, and it is second in from the left. Oh, okay, okay, not too bad, not too bad. So you get two you, points for that one. You were very gracious and gave me an author clue. <laughs> okay, two more, two more. Um, book nine. All right, book nine is the chocolate chip cookie murder. Oh, that's by Joanna Fluke. Uh, I haven't read that one yet, but I would really like to read it. It is back here. Um, and it is... One, two, three, four, five... It's four, because it's not on the end. And I think it's... This is one of my shelves that's, like, double stacked. So it's on that first stack in there. And it is... Uh, maybe the whiskey was a bad idea. <laughs> First on the left. 
Did you give me a row? Uh, yes, the, it's like, so there's two stacks. Oh, oh you mean like the, on the, the bookshelf? The row on the bookshelf, yes. Okay, so fourth, yeah, I don't think I did. Column. I don't think you gave me the row. Okay. Third. Third row. Third row, fourth column? Yes. And you said uh, how many in? One. From which side? It's, it's like the first in the little stack, so I guess left. First and left? Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie murder uh -huh. is on the big bookshelf. Uh huh. It is on row three, column four. Cool. Fourth from the left. Damn it. Okay. 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 You know what? I'm still proud that I knew where that one was. Sort of. Okay. Okay. Last book. Book ten. Book ten. Six. Sticks. With two X's. Ah! Okay, thank you. I, I was mentally spelling it like the word sticks. So that is by Sherilyn Kenyon. Uh, that is... In the back room, it's one of my romance novels. So it is one, two, three, shelf five. And this one has two rows and stackums on top. It is a very crammed bookshelf. Uh, but it's on the the second long ways stack, the second like the actual shelf. Fourth in from the right. It is in the bedroom bookshelf. Uh huh. On the fifth shelf. Uh huh. Sixth in from the right. So close. <laughs> okay. Okay. So ten books in. Mm hmm. You have twenty-five points. Okay. You know what? This is way better. Way freaking better than I thought I was going to. Okay. So um. First, I'm going to show you some of my terrible errors. Um, specifically, there was one really big oops. Really big oops on my part. Uh, sorry, Susanna Kersley. <laughs> uh, and I will show you what book I thought I was thinking of for that. And yeah, special, special thanks and shout out to the one and only Jeremy for helping me, uh, for helping me do this. You've been a, you've been a good sport. All right, what's what? Are you ready for bonus round? There's a bonus round? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. This is not part of the original challenge. This is all Jeremy, and I'm here for it. Okay, hit me, hit me so with it. So bonus round is your opportunity that I invented while doing this to knock some points off that total of yours. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so here's how it's going to work. You have to get the books exactly to get the points okay. knocked off. For each one of these books, you can knock off five points from your total if you get it exact. Okay. So you have 25 points going into the bonus round. If you get all three of these correct, you can knock it down to 10. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, you are an extra special, special guest because you gave me an out and you spoke to my competitive edge. I mm -hmm. like it. All right. All right, and, and I, I will also acknowledge that in order to make this bonus round work, I had to go to books where the author has been kind of problematic, so I do apologize for that. But we are going to Harry Potter because you and I have three different versions of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Okay. Can you tell me where all three versions are? For each one you get exact, you can take five points off your total. Okay, cool. Um, so first of all, on this channel I have a rule that if I mention the old HP, I donate to a trans uh, forward charity. So you'll be able to find the link for that charity that I've donated to down below. Uh, I usually do about $25, the price of a very special hardback. Uh, and it's my way of offsetting all of the negativity uh, that that author has now brought into the space that has for most of my life been very, very positive. I know it is not a perfect way to address these issues and her, her statements online are deeply problematic and I do not support them. Uh, but I do support the trans members of this community. So I will be making a donation. Uh, please feel free to join me. Of course, there is no pressure, but let me tell you where the shit is. So uh, the reason we have so many copies of this book is we have my original copies. Uh, we have Jeremy's childhood copies. And then uh, before JK Rowling made her super public problematic statements that revealed how close to the dark side she is, uh, we bought some of the illustrated editions, but we don't we don't buy those anymore. Uh, so, you said Sorcerer's Stone. Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, 
So the illustrated version is in this big bookshelf on the top row, fifth column, second in from the right. That is correct. What, what? You get to remove five points for the illustrated version. Okay. And the second version, my childhood version, is also on this big bookcase. It is not in any of the rows or columns. It is on top of it. So it would be first. It's that, dead center. That, so. is, that is correct. Okay. That is the hardcover. That is the hardcover. Okay. And then Jeremy uh, broke his childhood copy so thoroughly that he has a paperback or had to replace his with a paperback that he could read. Correct? No. No? Wait, wait. My childhood copy was always a paperback. Really? Yep. The first one that I was given uh, by my grandmother was a paperback. And I bought the rest in hardcover, and it doesn't match, and it drives me crazy. <laughs> okay. That's fair. So that is in the shelf in our back bedroom. It is the th third shelf. Ten books in from the left. Very close. It is back there on the third shelf. It is eighth in from the left. Damn it. So you do not get those. However, I will also be matching your standard donation for each of the two you did get right as I have put this onto the channel. <laughs> uh, so I will, I'll match that $25 donation twice Yay! Uh, for a $50 donation to the, the charity of your choice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Awesome. So that means I get to take 10, 10 points, points off. Okay. So I, final score is 15. Okay, so I do need to put one additional book on my priority shelf. That was fun. I was not prepared for a bonus round. That was good stuff. Okay, so it's not part of the original challenge, but I did think it would be uh, worth showing you some of the ones where I was drastically wrong and which books uh, were actually in the place that I thought they were. Most, For the most part, I was pretty close with the majority of the books that I was wrong about. Um, there's only a few that I was enough wrong for me to pull. Uh, so when Jeremy gave me Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder, which I haven't read yet, but would really, really like to read, uh, I thought this was first on a stack. It's actually like right back here on this shelf, right here uh, is where it normally lives. And uh, where what actually was first in the stack was Ursula K. Le Guin's The Left Hand of Darkness. So this is a contender for a book that I might add to my priority shelf. Uh, so I did not fully know where Ship It by Britta Lundin is. Sorry, Britta. Uh, <laughs> but uh, where, where this one was, I had guessed it was like on the stack on top of the regular shelf units. And the one that was this far in that I had guessed was actually uh, kind of sort of relevant. Uh, it's The Con Artist by Fred Van Lent. So these are both books that take place uh, during like comic cons and have to do with fandom, although they take very, very different narrative turns. Uh, so The Con Artist is one of my contenders for uh, putting on my priority shelf. And then the biggest of oopses, uh, the biggest, biggest of oopses <laughs> that I made during this video uh, was not knowing that Season of Storms by Susanna Kearsley, which is one of my page one uh, box unboxings, uh, I did not, I blanked on this so thoroughly, I did not mentally map this at all. Um, this was on my priority shelf. And what I thought, this is, this is where it gets comical. What I thought this was, was actually The Sea King by C.L. Wilson. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a delightful uh, weather mage romance. Uh, book two in a series. There's only two books currently in this series. And I, it says on Goodreads that book three is coming in 2030. But I don't have that kind of patience, C.L. Wilson. I need you to write more of these. Uh, but I have read this one. So this one is definitely staying on my priority shelf and my guilt will likely make me choose this in the next couple of months uh, to just to, to feel less terrible about what I've done. <laughs> uh, so this is staying on my priority shelf. I don't want to put this one on my priority shelf since this would be a reread, even though it is a very worthy reread. Uh, I hope to be able to do that for you at some point. Highly recommend this book and it's uh, and it's the first one, which is The Winter King. Um, for whatever reason, I heard Season of Storms because it, he's a weather mage, like she, she's a weather mage. Um, and so I immediately thought of 
this cover and I couldn't get past it. Uh, so yeah, that's where my uh, head was at there. I don't think that justified that in the slightest. I think the book that I'm going to put on my priority shelf is actually The Con Artist by Fred Van Lint. It is a murder mystery set in a comic con. Uh, and that does feel like something that I might be interested in reading in the next couple of months, especially because I feel like November typically gets kind of some of those murder mystery vibes, uh, even though this is very bright and colorful and not the typical murder mystery uh, cover design. It was one that initially caught my eye, um, and I'm just very intrigued, shall we say. So I think this one is going to be the one that goes on my priority shelf. I am going to tag Jess at Books Past Bedtime, Rue from Rue's Reading Corner, and Ellie from Earl Grey Books. So that was the Do You Know Your Shelf challenge. Uh, I did way better than I thought I was going to, so kudos. Kudos to me for doing that, uh, which was still not actually that great. Uh, I only managed to lower my number by Jeremy creating a special bonus challenge for me. Uh, so thanks again to Jeremy for being a wonderful uh, referee and, and good sport. Uh, but thank you for spending the time with me. I hope you have a fantastic reading day. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me or this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!